Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Gang. Again, a channel where you see beautiful watches which you hopefully never seen before. We are doing a part two video with the one and only Hamdan from Perpetual Gallery. How are you, my friend? Very well, thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, we are in Dubai in your beautiful store. Thank you for coming. And today we have actually watches here which I never saw in person, which is getting more and more difficult. I saw this online, your editions, your curation. I see we have a few more Roger Smiths here. What were you doing in the past two years to expand your business and get, let's say, new brands on board? First of all, thank you very much for joining us and uh, for doing this nice interview, showing people what uh, Perpetual Gallery could uh, bring more yeah. to the region here and uh, to the world. We did get a few nice brands to align uh, with the nice portfolio I hope that we have. You didn't see the Derek Pratt. No, uh, no. So we have a Derek Pratt. We do have a Derek Pratt uh, that's made by uh, Luca Soprana. Yeah. We did a limited edition of uh, seven pieces. So this is a unicorn. <laughs> this is very this nice, is really honestly. We, um, we did a limited edition of seven pieces. That was a, a very nice success, yeah. uh, honestly. Uh, one of the pieces that had amazing feedback from collectors, and we still have requests every week from collectors all over the world. If you will make more or the next edition or something. Of course, but we, will, uh, we might do something different mm -hmm. uh, in the future, but never the same. Gorgeous. No, the movement is exceptional with the nice salmon dial, you call it, or? Salmon dial, blued hands, Luca Soprana's uh, unique shape hands. Even the shape of the case is very much uh, Luca Soprana, the finish and the movement. People who know Luca Soprana, if, mm. if they see the watch, they will know that there is a huge identity of Luca on the case, crown and hands, definitely. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's jump in the latest release, which again is a watch brand, watchmaker. Two years ago, we met Fiona Kroger and Michael, yeah. her husband, and we thought of doing something special for the gallery. Yeah. We did as well a limited edition of seven pieces from a nice reference that she created, which is called uh, Fracture. Yeah. You can see the fracture on the dial. Exactly. Yeah. Titanium case. Super light, yeah. With a beautiful ostrich uh, strap. And I love that the numbers are applied on the glass. And, and, they, and they shadow then on and the dial. Because Fiona's an artist, and you can see her the artist's signature, the signature. done. Like on a painting, yeah? Exactly. But if you see the back and you see the finish of the... It's so unique, man. This is a... Nobody does watches like Fiona, you know? Just the design, the colors and as well. She makes sure that the, the designs reflects a lot her identity and her, her thoughts and ideas. She always have a story behind every design yeah. she comes out uh, with. And this was an absolutely nice design. We were privileged to have the first reference from Fracture to be launched for Perpetual. Yeah. She has the Chaos, Fracture, and the Skull. Mm -hmm. No, the Skull is nice. Is, yes. I love the Skull. Yes. Even the clock and the big lip. Exactly. Clock, nice. We were talking about maybe doing a clock yeah. with her sometime cool. soon. It's a very beautiful watch, and uh, I had the pleasure of also meeting Fiona on the, in the hotel, actually. And I told her to make more watches, so I hope uh, with you as well. Hopefully is, we keep on busy. Happen, huh? We had an amazing feedback. Yeah. People were very happy. Um, watchmakers were surprised holding her timepiece and, and yeah. talking to her about the finish of the movement in the case. The case was made in collaboration with Kari Vutilainen. So, That's uh, top notch. Yeah. Indeed. Beautiful. And the next watch is also something I only saw so far on Instagram. Atelier de Chronometry. Yes. How did you find out about it? How did you... Uh, since the beginning, honestly, since the beginning of the gallery, when you uh, Sante, Monte, and Pascal, mm. their son, so yeah. they're a trio. They're always together. Yeah. Now they are moving to their new workshop, mm -hmm. which uh, hopefully we'll visit very soon. It's in a very nice place, uh, as they described. The new movements are going to be totally in house. They are very unique with their designs. It is very obvious that their watches are inspired by vintage uh, Pateks mm -hmm. because he is a collector of vintage Patek yeah. as well and vintage watches. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of their timepieces here to show from the enamel dial or the black glossy dials, And but they do a great job. In the few coming months, we'll be receiving few nice uh, pieces that we'll be very happy to show to the media before uh, delivering the pieces to clients, but this is very nice. The execution is superb. The finishing, the very dial, clean. wide anglage. I mean, they do a great job. Uh, the, the new ones are much nicer yeah. in the sense of finish, but this is very, very nice and very... This is already exceptional. We have a lot of demand on this timepiece, but unfortunately we cannot sell this. It's, it's for the gallery, for people to see. And the click is very nice as very well. Very nice. Very pocket watchy. Like crayon. Yes, indeed. 
we're talking about crayon. We shot one two years ago, which, which was, was the prototype. The prototype, and this is now the final one with Arabic numerals. What do you like the most? The movement, the front. The movement, the finish, the dial, it gives out a beautiful reflection under the sun. You see it's black. Yeah. You see the center dial as black, but whenever you move, can you see the reflection? It gives you this gray shade. And the numerals look amazing. Eh? Very nice. Very special. Very special. This one edition. This is in steel. steel we did the limited edition of 15 pieces for the gallery, mm -hmm. which uh, we sold out. This piece is for a client yeah. who's very kind to keep it with and us. And yours is the prototype. Mine is the prototype. That's why it has the, the Western Arabic Western Arabic numerals. numerals yes. Beautiful. And also next to it, we have another crayon. Two crayons in one tray. Not a uh, common sight to see. This doll is absolutely beautiful. Artistic, yeah. as you can see, they did around 12 pieces. Yeah. This is in platinum. Can you feel the weight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a big difference. Huh? Usually, on the artistic pieces or artistic dials, they always use uh, more precious metals mm -hmm. like platinum, and uh, it is very much inspired by the first timepiece that they have done for only watch 2021 they like the idea and they will always I, I believe from time to time uh do pieces that will include different type of art mm. it's absolutely gorgeous for me the this it's not cottage name it's what cote de neuchatel is uh, it's just gorgeous it's one of the nicest ones i think look at the regulating mechanism yeah. this is very nice which you can change if you move to another place right this is for the balance of the sun rise and sunset. Yeah. So for those who don't know it, this is uh, called the Anywhere yes. model. So basically you have a sunset and sunrise here on the dial, which opens and closes. And you basically tell them where you live and they set the position with this regulator on the back. And if you move to a different location, you ship the watch back, they change it and you're good to go. Yes. And they have the Everywhere, which is even yes. crazier with that. I never saw that one. I say it is one of my dream watches. Yeah. I think he does one every year and a half. Almost. I told him whenever you receive one for service, let me know. I'll be very happy to come and... and I'll buy it for the guy. Uh, and, and have a look. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, don't send it back. We'll see, we'll see. We also have a, a brand which you represent very strongly. Yes. Singer. Yes. So this is also your edition with a beautiful brown dial. This is the 1969 chronograph. Mm. Marco did a great job for the brand, for the design. We were talking a few days ago and I was telling him, it's very challenging to evolve or improve a design and keep the identity. The watches are 43 mm, but when you wear them, they, they don't feel they're yeah. big, but this is 40 mm. Yeah. With the bracelet, so it's the first time they do the bracelet with the adjusting function. Can you see this? This goes yeah. to, to. Oh, but well, you can to, adjust exactly. a lot. Huh? Yeah. yeah, two centimeters. <laughs> okay. Two centimeters. Look at the. So chrono. you can wear it. Your child can wear it. Basically, yeah. switch around yeah. a bit. Two centimeters. <laughs> it's yes. a lot. Huh? Yeah. And the movement is exceptional. They launched the black 1969, yeah. and we did the collaboration with Marco for the gallery in the terracotta yeah. brown color with the beige outer scale around it in uh, 10 pieces. So the time indication is actually down. in the window. Huh? Exactly, yeah. in the window. You have the hours down and the minutes uh, above. So I, I, I couldn't figure this out. What's the time on the Baltic from uh, the gallery? I can't because, because exactly. I know where the number yeah. should be. But this I get lost, but it's a beautiful dial. You know that it's an automatic movement, right? I know it is, but is it a peripheral it, rotor or is it a normal rotor? A rotor is under the dial. So we also have a watch in a box here, as yes. I presume. One of my favorite watchmakers. You know, we represent Charles Simon. We are one of the first mm -hmm. uh, galleries or retailers that uh, represent Charles Simon. It's great quality. Yeah. This is one of their hot pieces, which is a watch roll. That's mm -hmm. called Theo. Yeah. That's why I have a, a, a Theo frame. <laughs> the I think you're the only guy eh? <laughs> who can do that. <laughs> I mean. Uh, and this is actually the watch, which uh, for some of you who watch my channel, we've seen this before. So when we did the video about this watch on my channel with Theo, Theo it was actually your watch. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a very good friend. I'm seeing him actually in a few days yeah. uh, in Paris. And the watch is really great quality. It's a sports model, right? Of his Turbion, let's say. Yes, it's he gorgeous. did, uh, he did uh, very few. We have a lot of beautiful bureau shots. So if you want to see details of just this model, I'll put the link in the description. 
but it's a great selection to be amongst all of these great pieces. One of my favorite. Yeah. So last time I was here, I had the pleasure of seeing a piece unique Roger Smith. Yes. With the open dial and the Arabic numerals, blued. I saw it. Uh, you have it here in the case as well. And now we have three Roger Smiths on one table. So uh, it's just shocking me, man, every time I come here. So when did this happen? <laughs> that was uh, since more than uh, four or five years yeah. when uh, we placed the order and uh, made the design. And that came just uh, one year ago. Yeah. So let's focus on the, the one with the green The style. palm. Yeah, the so palm. If you saw this, the, the open dial yeah. series five previously that you, you shot, this is a great companion to it because you still have the palm mm -hmm. of the dial and a very similar engraving in the back. Yeah, that, the that I remember, tree. yeah. It's beautiful. What's the dial the, made out of? Is it gold or? No, if you can see, the it's uh, silver plated mm. with the rose gold chapters, yeah. applied rose gold numerals to give a contrast. Mm -hmm. And the hands, of the, I love that. You hands. see the, the rhodium plated dial. It's gorgeous. I mean, Roger is a great watch, man. And you see the engraving on the gold plated. We're lucky plate. because we can show them side by side and so people can really compare. Because again, this is the, the, just having all these watches on one tray, like the last time we were here, it's like, I think one of a, one of a kind experience, you know? And that's what I like about your, your, your gallery, because you can actually see these pieces in person. You keep some here extra. From I your mean, collection, just so people if can I, admire. If I walk to a gallery, I'd like to see everything. Mm -hmm. Whenever I travel, yeah. visit even art galleries, I'd like to see and I'd admire whatever is special. And I think everything is special. Mm -hmm. Everyone does uh, or makes watches in their uh, own way, uh, different ways, uh, different techniques. But all watches are mm -hmm. beautiful uh, in their way. And the next Smith has a very special pattern. What uh, was the inspiration behind this? Hydrangeas. I did this for my wife. Mm. It is, uh, you can see hydrangeas engraved mm -hmm. on the dime. Yeah. It gives you an amazing reflection with a beautiful contrast of the applied rose gold numerals. And again, you can see the rose gold chapter mm -hmm. on the outer scale and the inner scale as well, the inner chapter of the seconds in, in rose gold. It gives an amazing contrast yeah. with the red gold case. Is this like a his and hers couples watch or? Yes. It is, it huh? is yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And then last but not least, we have something on your wrist, which is uh, a this bit is, older than all yes, of these brands. Around uh, <laughs> close to 100 years. No, a little bit less. Yeah. This is a vintage Patek Philip. Is this where your passion started for watches, yes. for complicated watches? Yes, this is the vintage 1518. It's the first uh, perpetual calendar chronograph mm. done by Patek. It's an I iconic reference that has the 2499 after it and then the 3970 and then the 5970 and of course in between the 5004 and then later the 5270. Yeah, all iconic watches and on its own. But this is what started it all. Yes, the this is the lineage. first perpetual calendar chronograph. It's the 1518 in yellow gold. Gorgeous. What do you like to wear the most out of, let's say, these watches? Crayon. Do you, do you roll it right? Crayon. Crayon, huh? I wear it the most. Yeah? I wear the crayon the most. The prototype you saw mm -hmm. in the previous video, it is the most I wear. Yeah. The most size I'm is great. Huh? Amazing. Thin watch. But after receiving the prototype uh, singer with the adjustable uh, bracelet, this is absolutely yeah. amazing. I, I've been wearing it every day since uh, we received the watch. I must say they did a great job. Yeah. And the point of a gallery is not just watches, of course. We have a vase here. So for those who are vase enthusiasts out there, <laughs> comment down below and if you are one. I mean, we try this to, is this a, is a private collection of the gallery. We yeah. do not uh, sell It's not art. for sale, of course, no. yeah. Uh, but uh, what do we this, have is, here? this is the queen. It's called The Queen by mm. Picasso. <laughs> there is a king somewhere yeah. that we're trying to find. If you happen to know where the king is... Uh, we'll be more than happy to... To talk. To talk. Because <laughs> we need the king uh, for the couple to be back to together. Complete. To complete. Uh, to complete. And to finally put some roses in their ways. Indeed, yes. <laughs> Gorgeous. So how do you decide on taking on a new brand as a collector, but also as a gallery? Does it coincide usually or... Do you try it takes to time, it? honestly. It's very organic and natural. Whenever mm -hmm. we find a brand that can complement uh, the rest of the brands in the gallery, we try to speak and see yeah. if, uh, if they would like to join. Many of the brands that we represent are not 
on the table today, mm -hmm. but they are on the website. So we do have on board that joined us recently, uh, Lederer. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Simon Brett, Peter Manbedat, and few, Philip uh, Narban. Yeah, nice. And also I saw beautiful watches from uh, Beauregard, right? Beauregard joined us Gorgeous as well. Gorgeous pieces. Beauregard is the last brand that joined. Yeah. And we are very happy from what Alex is doing. Yeah. Uh, he's obsessed with stones. Yeah, beautiful uh, craftsmanship. And uh, that's why we started uh, showcasing Beauregard. We will start showcasing more of their timepieces in, the, yeah. in the coming weeks. And we will make a special exhibition for Beauregard in the few coming months as well. Beautiful. And of course, the usual suspects, the Baltic watches Studio Underdog, which is yes. GPAG nominated. Yes. And Excelsior yes. Parka with Arabic numerals. So, Hamdan, thank you so much for your time again. Thank, thank you for you allowing me to show for, these watches. Thank you for the interview. Thank you uh, very much for your time. It's it always a pleasure. And I hope this is very useful to the collectors or, or uh, the admirers or the passionates of horology and yes, uh, me too. collecting. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment down below which is your grail watch because I think we have a lot of options here to choose from. Check out Perpetual Gallery online. If you have some questions, of course, reach out to them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.